Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. I wanted to do a quick video because of what happened Friday night in Paris, France. As we know by now, some of these ISIS terrorists decided to basically attack Paris, France. Um, there were suicide bombers, there were some shooters, and by my count right now, because I'm not exactly sure where we're at, they said it's about 128 people killed. And our country loves to find out how many Americans, and I guess it's three Americans who were killed during the thing. The French president barely got out. Um, you know, he, his life was pretty much close to in danger. As a matter of fact, if timing had been right, supposedly, they would have probably got him as well. So, you know, we have to deal with these acts of terrorism, and, you know, there's not really a safe place as long as people are willing to give up their lives. There just isn't. So we can't go around being scared. We can be careful. We need to be alert, but we can't just give up our lives and not leave the house and go anywhere. I mean, they can strike anywhere um, if people aren't paying attention. Because there's a lot of people who do pay attention, and a lot of these people get caught. I can't believe how many get caught. I mean, when you look at our country, we haven't had a real terrible terrorist act since 2001. Yeah, we've had a couple of people who've decided to go somewhere and shoot up a few places and whatever, but they haven't really killed anyone. We haven't had a suicide bomber. We haven't had anything really big like what happened here in Paris. But the reason I decided that I wanted to kind of do this video is because we've got this thing about race and religion. And I've never necessarily thought about them as having a symbiosis, but they do. Um, because a couple of things came out after or during this Paris thing that I thought was interesting and intriguing, and I really just kind of wanted to address it. For instance, one of the things that started coming out was all this thing against religion in general. Now, I'm one of those people who's not religious. I'm not religious at all. Matter of fact, I did a previous video, I think a couple of years ago, where I was talking about this subject, and I was saying how there's these people who believe in their religion to the point that their actions are uh, hypocrisy. Their beliefs are hypocrisy across the board with everything else. They don't seem compatible. And I said that I don't trust religion, but at the same time, I know that religion has helped a lot of people. And I'm not sure that you can call this ISIS thing really a religious thing. You know, yeah, these guys are fanatics, but I'm not necessarily sure it's about religion because Islam is not about that. You know, the Quran actually prohibits what these guys are doing. Um, but you know, to sit there and blame religion for this type of thing, I'm not so sure. Now, it's true that religion has been used to do some horrible things in this country. Religion was used against the Jews in Germany. Religion was used for the Crusades. Religion was used for slavery. <laughs> religion was used to try to annihilate the Native Americans and other countries and all this other kind of stuff. So, yes, religion is used for cults. But I'm not necessarily sure that these guys here are really about religion. I, I just don't. Um, I, I see a big hypocrisy for these guys here. But that was one of the things. is All these rants came out about religion at the time. And I thought that was kind of time insensitive. But the other thing was race. Now, this is very interesting because, you know, in America, we do pick on the French a lot. Let's just admit it. We do. But when this thing happened, oh my goodness, all the things came out about France and people changed their, their images on Facebook to reflect that we're with France. But there have been some other terrorist um, attacks around the world that have not engendered anything from us, almost anything. India has been under constant uh, terrorist attacks. Um, Nigeria and a lot of the African countries, they've got their own terrorist groups that are doing some of the worst stuff you could ever think about. Um, Saudi Arabia. Okay, I got trouble with the Saudi Arabian government. I'll just, I'll just get that out of the way. But they've been attacked by a whole lot of terrorists. And we don't have any, you know, I don't want to say we don't care, but it doesn't seem to mean as much to us as it does for what happened in France. And so people are saying that this is because it's a racial thing. And I'm not necessarily going to say that it's not. I don't, I, you know, I, I really don't want to go there. What I'm going to say instead 
is that United States history has had a longer relationship with France and a stronger relationship with France than it does all these other countries. It doesn't make what happens everywhere else worse, and you know, any better or any worse. It just is. And, you know, we get to this point where sometimes we in America get ourselves numb to certain things that happen elsewhere because they're not happening here. But I'm betting there's a heck of a lot more people in America who have visited France, specifically Paris, than have visited places in Africa or Saudi Arabia. And maybe that's what they're feeling. You know, I pretty much feel the same way when I hear about all of these things. I want the terrorists gone. I want them dead. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want them in prison. I don't want to hear what their reasoning is. I just want them gone. But unless someone shows up at my door or I'm out somewhere and they show up there, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What do you do? You can't go and annihilate, you know, bomb every city in Saudi Arabia. You can't do that. You can't bomb every city in every African country because of that. You can't do that. Uh, Syria. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. What I do know is that in this particular instance, blaming it on religion, the act, and then trying to compare what happened there to what happens in other countries and saying that it's not seen the same way here because of race. Boy, that's a tough one. I, I You know what? And I'm the guy who will call out. You all know, if you've watched any of my other videos where I talk about this subject, you know that the things that irk me most are the isms. Racism, sexism, ageism, any of those things. Irk me to death. But in this particular instance, I'm not so sure. But because I'm not so sure, I'm not saying definitively. I do believe that you can't really address anything unless you have a conversation about it. We can't yell at each other, so I'd like to know if anyone wants to give an opinion on this, please give me an opinion on it. Let me know what you think. Um, and, of course, keep it nice, because if it's not courteous or whatever, y'all know I'll block. <laughs> you know I'll delete. I don't care. My channel. There you go. So let me know what you, you think about this. Religion? Race? Or is it just the kind of thing that, like I said, maybe we feel a little more empathetic in this time period because it's Paris. Maybe, and I'm saying we, although me, I see them all the same. But, you know, I'm American, so I'm just saying we. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Mitch Mitchell. Next time, let's hopefully, hope we'll get back to something a little more nice. Y'all take care.